that we're actually part of this festival, you know? And, like, we get to dress up and add to our costumes yeah. every year. And yeah. We love playing our characters. And we just feel really at home here. Nice. So. Well, and I would think, too, with the ambient sounds, that you know, even before we open, Bienvenue. Welcome to Coffee Talk with King Francois Premier, where we will discover the tales, trials, and talents of Renaissance Festival performers, merchants, and diehard attendees as we journey by way of lighthearted and even at times heartwarming conversations about the Renaissance Festival world. I am your host. Theodore Jander, a.k.a. King Francois Premier. Bonjour. Welcome to Coffee Talk with King Francois Premier. I am your host, Theodore Jander. It is my pleasure to bring to all returning and new listeners episode 7 which is the final installment from the Facebook Live series I recorded at the St. Louis Renaissance Festival this fall. My guests for this episode are Karen Schwartz and Justin Melendez from Talenshi Studios, artisans who create beautiful, useful objects to bring a little magic to everyday life. Patrons rave about their products. The craftsmanship is excellent. Beautiful, well-made item that arrive quickly and packaged well to keep it safe in shipping. Love the magnetic refill option so I can keep using this notebook for years to come. Definitely met and went beyond my expectations. Talenshi Studios has out done themselves with the journal. It was a pleasure chatting with and discovering more about the artisans behind such praiseworthy craftsmanship. One auditory note about the interview, there's a bit of ambient noise, particularly from the hammering blacksmith who was working in the booth next door. However, both Karen and Justin were unflinched. So, enjoy this coffee talk with King Francois Premier and guests Karen Schwartz and Justin Melendez from Talenshi Studios. There we go. So I have with me Karen and Justin of Talenshi Illustration and Design. So welcome and good morning. Thanks for having us. Oh, you're very welcome. So it's a very lovely renaissance morning. So the weather is not too hot, it's not too cold. So it's looking to be a great day for uh, at least the final weekend of this festival. So that being said, in one or two sentences, describe what it is that you do as a merchant in the renaissance festival. Would you like to do the whole thing? Uh, yes. Okay. Wait. Ready. We're just behind the scenes, so not in character. Oh, not in yeah, character. Okay. okay. Well, you can do it in character, okay. too. We can, oh, yeah. you know, hey, let's, start let's with go for it. I'm going to walk by. All right. All right. Oh, what's this booth? Hello, friend. Hello. Welcome. Oh, hi. Have you seen the magic in our book? I've not before. Oh, well, hold this. Oh. Hold it. Oh, this is quite and lovely. I think you, you, you make this yourself. Handmade from scratch. Oh, excellent. Okay. And if you open it up, uh -huh. hold it like so. Okay. There you are. And then grab the cover. Okay. And you can see how strong it is. It's much more. It's handmade. Oh, very hard. What? Oh, no, I don't, oh. I don't, I don't want to. It's, no, no, no so it's fine. Oh, yes. Go harder. Oh, my yes. goodness. So I've enchanted them with a self healing set. Oh, my. Oh, what do I get? Where do I get new pages from when oh, I roll them out? Them. You make them. Make them from scratch. Everything you see here. Oh my! Ah, yes, friend. That's impressive. <laughs> That's what we do. Okay, Just so, what we do. <laughs> plus so, or minus some lights. Okay. So the design of the covers, and then as far as putting the the page inserts together as well. Ah, yes. Everything. This is entirely Everything. from scratch. It's all my art We yeah. do all the binding from scratch. Yeah. yeah. The wood we cut down. We do the staining. We, okay. We bind the pages. Is everything very good and so how long have you been selling 
at Renaissance festivals and briefly describe how you started creating this type of craft. Sure. Yep. Do you remember? Yeah, I do. Started so in... We started, well, four years ago, we started here, right? right. And we had we had a, a single, I think we did one weekend just to try it out. Sharing a booth yeah. with somebody. And we shared, yeah, we shared a okay. booth. Okay. Last year, we did three weekends, and this is the first year we've done all six weekends. Six. Yeah, and we mm -hmm. plan on continuing to do that every Perfect. year. So. If they'll have us. Yeah. <laughs> good, good. And um, on that, are there other festivals that you hope to be doing? Other kinds of things? Oh, yeah, we, we do a lot of festivals. Okay. A lot of you different wanna, types. Yeah, you want to tell them what we were talking about before? About how this is like the one that feels at home? Oh, yes. Yeah, so, we've been doing this for six years. Okay. Yeah, yeah festivals wise. And we do lots of different types, and all the time when we do other festivals, it sort of feels like we're at somebody else's convention oh, uh -huh. or festival, and we're, we're vending, and we appreciate everybody that comes by and enjoys right. our work. We love it. But we feel like we're actually part of this festival, you know? Okay. And like, we get to dress up and add to our costumes yeah. every year. And, yeah. We love playing our characters, and I just feel really at home here. Nice. So. Well, and, and I would think, too, with the ambient sounds, that you know, even before we open, you have the blacksmith next door to you, and you hear that going, and... And that's been an underlying theme, or not even so much an underlying theme, but a very consistent theme that I've experienced myself, as well as as speaking with others, that it's family. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and there's such a welcoming feel to to merchants, farmers, cast, and even to the patrons that come. So there really is. Really cool. oh, yeah. So. So, I myself have experienced numerous and unique encounters with merchants, performers, cast, patrons. And so, what is a favorite memory of yours that you would like to share? In recent memory? Just. Oh, is it oh. the children or the husbands? Uh, well, you should share the husband. Okay, I'll share the husband. Um, okay. So, a lot of times we've made our booth kind of like a little enclosed space here. Okay. And so, we get children this season coming up and going, How did you get in there? <laughs> So if you said anything from, you know, the truth, we have a door in the back too. I tunnel up through the ground. Sweet. And <laughs> yeah, it's just it's, really fun. And I think a lot of that comes from when children walk into this place. It's such, a, I mean, it is it's very much a magical place. There's a lot to take in and see. And so when you create that kind of encounter with them is pretty spectacular. And then what is this about husbands? <laughs> There's a performer walking around. Um, I forget her name, but she came up for several several times last night. Okay. Um, and uh, and she comes around and she says that she'll get people husbands. And she's got a little she's got a little book. Okay. And she speaks it like a heavy accent and says like, oh, so how many, you know, I'll get you a husband. And she'll go just grab people off the street. And if, oh. if you say yes, she'll grab a person and be like, here, I got you a husband. <laughs> Wow. She's a matchmaker. She's got a little okay. pamphlet. Okay. And the pamphlet has like instructions about how, how she gets people husbands. Gets people husbands. Really hysterical. Nice. So really something that you would most likely only experience at a renaissance. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Nice. So, so shared a memory. So tell me a story about how you fell in love with Renaissance festivals. Hmm. I mean, really just how they feel like home. Okay. Yeah. That's kind of what I yeah. figured yeah. would have been the case. They really nice. do. So. We, we go to so many different things, and so many so many of the places are yeah. like, we feel like we're at someone else's house vending. Yeah. A little and bit of here outsiders. it feels like, like this is where we would be in our free time. Yeah. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. Like, if we weren't vending, yeah. we would be here yeah. anyway. But now, and, and what it is that you create is it's it's original art it's original creations and that was such a vibrant aspect of the era mm -hmm. and so it's so fitting to to be in that in a space that really embraces that so we really really appreciate it oh, nice. and so here is the 
a renaissance oriented question as this is a renaissance festival so who would win in a joust you so either you karen or justin and the royal jester and why what about both of us together oh could we both there you go yeah. okay. we both just could yeah. one of us trick them if one of us cheat <laughs> okay yeah we'd have we a chance trickery. okay but otherwise i think we'd have no chance because we don't know anything about that about I could probably ride a horse. I don't think I could carry a lance and ride a horse at the same time. Yeah, yeah it's a, it's it's quite a unique skill, and and I know even with the the jousters, often there's at least one jouster that's typically on the not so good side, and so a, a, a common mantra is cheat to win. So they, so if you can do whatever you can in in your favor when it comes to the joust, I'll put butter on the lance. Well, we could bribe him. <laughs> There you go. Bri- we could bribe. Bri- bri- That's true. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, last kind of official question. So, for people considering being a vendor or an actor or attending the fair, what is the best piece of advice that you could offer? For vending, I would say make so much more than mm. you think you need. Okay. I mean, we we thought we were going into it this year. Like from previous years, we we would just make stuff at night and during the week just to catch up because we'd sell out every time. Um, and then this year, this, this year we thought, oh, we'll prep really hard for it, and we're still, you know, towards the end of it, it's like scrambling, scrambling to make things because we're selling out. Yeah. yeah, that's probably a good problem to have, yeah. especially that you prepared far enough in advance, but then to be at a point where you're needing to play a little bit of catch up. So. <laughs> Well, that's great for you and yeah. I would say for your business too yeah um, and then that's yeah that's very sound advice for anyone coming in to do the merchant side so thank you for the for the attending side I would say come in a character yeah, yeah. come in a character and play with the people who are willing to play with them. yeah yeah it, and that's something that I've seen at this festival uh, this year probably more than any other year is the the, the number of first timers mm-hmm. who come in some time type of costume or garb, potentially even character. So it's wonderful. Great advice. Great advice. Right. So as we bring today's coffee talk with King Francois Premier to a close, and just a little shout out, this is here's the coffee. There we go. Oh, thank you, Starbucks. Um, yeah. Uh, this baseball live series is not officially endorsed by Starbucks. So it is good. Yeah. The pumpkin spice cold brew. Oh my gosh. I was like, oh, I'm drinking a pumpkin pie. But if anyone wants to bring us coffee at any time oh, during yeah. the day, they're there welcome. Right. Thank you. Right. <laughs> it's almost coffee at o'clock. <laughs> right, yes. Yeah, so you slip right into character. Oh, We're just... trying not to. <laughs> That's like, all right. <laughs> it's like we get here and just like... So this being the, my understanding, the only Renaissance Festival, what other upcoming festivals do you have? Coming up. We did the steampunk festival previous to this okay. in Hannibal, um, and then we do comic uh, comic cons and okay. things like that. Mm-hmm. And you are on the internet. It's uh, TalenshiStudios.com, mm-hmm. yes. and then you are also on the Book of Face or Facebook. Yes, not so much on well, the face eating book. No, on the face eating book, not so much. We bird do put partic- the bird who screams all of the time. Everything on its mind. Oh yes, and uh, if you venture oh, online, okay. beware like, the red mm-hmm. it. Okay. <laughs> Twitter. Don't I'm into the like, red okay. <laughs> so Twitter. Yeah. I guess. I guess. Okay. I like. I like that. The the bird that what? The bird who the, screams. screams everything on its mind all of the time. <laughs> when people come by and we say That's we're we're okay. online, we say look, oh, but if you venture forth, there, beware the red it, and the book that eats faces, <laughs> and the bird that screams all of the time. It's very dangerous, but we it talks about us sometimes. So. Okay. Very good. Well, we are on the you. talks as well. Perfect. Well, thank you very much and if you don't mind sure. can yeah. I get a little sure. view here yeah, before absolutely. I turn it back to, sure. to close out so this is a bit yeah. of their wares trying to do this there we go stunning work stunning work All right. thank you both again you're welcome I hope you enjoyed this episode with my guests Karen Schwartz and Justin Melendez To find out more about Talenshi Studios, check out their links provided in the show notes. Stay tuned for next week's episode to be released on Friday, December 23rd, where I will be bringing you a special holiday Greenleaf Singers Renaissance episode. If you are a performer, 
merchant or diehard patron in or of the Renaissance Festival world and would like to be featured on Coffee Talk with King Francois Premier, reach out to me by way of clicking on the following link provided in the show notes www.theodorejander.com slash coffee talk podcast and would you like to receive early access every week to each new episode as well as receive a behind the scenes glimpse into the production and creative process for the podcast if so join the wonderful community of listeners supporting the show and making new things possible through patreon Learn more at www.patreon.com slash coffee talk with King Francois. The link is provided in the show notes. Thank you so much for tuning in to Coffee Talk with King Francois Premier. A bientôt. See you soon. Ciao for now and au revoir.